Hello everyone, it's Megan with AboveRubyStudio.com. I am so glad you guys decided to join me today for another Tuesday tutorial and this 21 day celebration that we're hosting and all of the great goodies and prizes and wonderful, wonderful things going on. I have so many great people that have decided to pitch in and help sponsor this 21 day event, including Crafty Corner, Marlo from Scrap and Easel, which is what you see on my desk here, Mr. Cricket Crazy, who has provided some stamps to give away and I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about those. Melanie from Everyday Cricket, who also has provided me with the Art Philosophy cartridge, which is a Close to My Heart exclusive from Cricut. Awesome cartridge and amazingly awesome stamp sets that go along with this cartridge as well. So stinking fun. Crafty Corner, who has provided me with a couple cartridges to give away to you guys, as well as a... Um, they provided me with a purple Cricut Expression when I was there at one point in time. So I'm kind of just talking about all these things because I want to just give a big, huge shout out and a huge thank you to each one of them. And I'm going to be showing you guys some of the products that they have shared with me for me to use and to tell you guys a little bit more about as also um, when I share things that I tell you guys about, they're things that I would use anyway and I would buy anyway. And um, I'm not just telling you about something uh, just because somebody had provided me with it or I'm receiving compensation or anything like that because I am not. Uh, for most of these products, I don't receive any compensation or anything, but I was provided with some free um, samples to be able to show you guys. So I just wanted to share that, get that out of the way. Um, we're going to be showing you guys the Scrap and Easel, which a couple of my design team members now have and are playing with and love it. It is a little bit more of an expensive item, but it is really, really cool. You can see here, instead of my projects being flat on my desk, they're on these really cool little easels. Um, they're magnetic and they have, I'm just going to show you really quick, they have some really cool things. So I just stuck my paper in here. There's little flaps to keep it um, kind of just locked into place so you can stick your paper in and you're good to go. And it has a really cool magnetic 12 inch ruler. These little sheets come out. Now this is not a cutting mat. This is magnetic. This is designed just as a working surface. It's not designed as a cutting mat. Just so you know. And it comes with a ton of super, super, super strong, I can't even get them off my thing over here, magnets. Much like the basic gray ones that I showed you, my basic gray cutting mat, and I use the magnets and use it as a work surface. But this is cool because I can do my 12 by 12 layouts. And what I, why I had the layouts on here that I had was because I lined up my red paper here because I wanted this to line up for my two 12 by 12 layout once I stuck it in here. I was able to make sure I had it lined up that it was at the 12 inch by 12 inch on both sides. And then I was able to stick my red paper in at the you know four and a quarter inch or whatever it is lines on both sides. So I knew it was even, which I really like about that. So that's why I wanted to show you this layout and how I did it using the um, scrap and the scrap and easel. This layout is also in an upcoming DVD we got coming out at Above Ruby Studio too. So you can see step by step how we made this and some of the fun techniques as well. And um, all right, so that is the Scrap and Easel. Marlo, again, thank you. There is more information at AboveRubyStudio.com about where to purchase the Scrap and Easel if you are interested. Like I said, it is a little bit more of an expensive item, but it's cool because you can use it as your scrap and go um, surface here because you just fold up these little easels. Your paper will fit in there up to a quarter inch thick and you are good to close this up and go, which is really, really cool. Really cool. I love that about this. And then you can also do, you can also kind of switch it the other way. If you lock these into place, they just kind of open up and you just push the little piece of plastic down to lock it. Okay, that's how these easels work. And then you can flip it the other way and you can have your layouts completely standing straight up facing you. So now I'm not, I'm not gonna be leaning over top of my workspace anymore. It's really, really great um, just for a lot of different things. So the scrap and easel is a lot of fun, great for crops. And again, I thank you, Marlo. All right, so moving on, I wanna create a project for this Tuesday tutorial. I don't just wanna ramble about products, even though I could literally all day long. Um, I have some paper layers here. That's what we're gonna use as our base. I'm gonna do just a one page layout today for you guys. And I am going to use this paper. This is the Fond of Boo, my favorite jeans. And I call it my favorite jeans because the color scheme from this is from my favorite pair of blue jeans and my favorite shirt. And I literally pulled it off a picture and made this into a um, color scheme. And it's called Fond of Boo because it has little bamboo leaves 
that are really, really subtle. And unless you're looking closely, you can't even really tell they're there. Anyway, this is going to be my base page. And I think that's going to be my base. Actually, I might use this as my base. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to use All Stressed Out Rusty as my base. And I'm going to use Fond of Boo for my layers for my project. So we'll use 12 by 12 Paper Layers by Megan Elizabeth. We will use this. I'm going to set this aside here. And we're going to cut out a few things, and we're also going to do some stamping today. All right, so this is just going to fold up and get out of my way until I'm ready for it again, because I am going to pull my Cricut over here. This is the Purple Expression, which, like I said, these were available at Walmart. They were kind of a Black Friday special at Walmart, and a lot of the Walmarts sold out really quickly. But CraftyCorner.com actually happens to have it in stock. So you can go to Crafty Corner and you can get your very own purple or yellow or teal, I think they have teal, um, Cricut Expression. And it's just exactly the same as your uh, white expression. It comes with two exclusive cartridges to these colors. And they're really pretty too because they do have the um, pretty design on it. So I was really happy to get this. I was really blessed that Crafty Corner provided this for me because I like it so much more. And I've actually been needing another Cricut. My original one I've kind of beaten really really hard over the years and I I use both I use two of them a lot so um, we're gonna use the art philosophy cartridge and you can go to Courtney Lane designs dot com to uh, purchase this if you're interested it comes with the cute stamps um, so sorry I'm a little bit more commercially today but I am still showing you guys a project I definitely want to show you guys a project I wanted to do the butterfly and the star here, and I wanted to do a couple of the layers. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do it with my um, Fond of Boo Favorite Jeans sheet. It's awesome. And you know what, guys? I'm going to also tell you, um, paper layers is talked about in the new Cricut um, A to Z second edition DVD. We talk about it, and we talk about using paper layers with your... Um, expression 2 because we do use the Expression 2 in the second edition DVD so there was a lot of questions about that. I know I've seen some comments about people saying doing more videos with the Expression 2. Um, so we have included the Expression 2 in the new Cricut A to Z DVD so you guys are going to love that. Alright so I want to do a couple of these layers and these fun things and we're going to create a really simple, simple little layout. I'm going to start with doing this star, and I'm going to come over here to this blue. Actually, you know I'm going to do the green. I'm almost going to do it in the same colors. We'll come over to the green. I'm going to do three and a quarter inches. It is a shift, and it is this button right here. So we're going to do this star. It'll come up. I can turn my speed and my pressure up. And cut. Okay, now I want to do the butterfly here. And I'm going to do load matte because I'm going to go back to this top blue, top purple here. And I'm going to do the butterfly base. So we'll press shift butterfly. And I'm going to do that at three and a half inches. Cut her out. And I didn't think that all the way through because that's going from highest point to lowest point, not width. So we're not going to use that butterfly. We'll have to come up with something else, which is fine. Not a big deal. Okay, line return. I'm still going to use the butterfly. I'm going to use it in the pink and blue this time though. And I'm just going to scroll it to, let's do two inches. We're going to do the layer of the butterfly, which is this, and we'll cut it out. Okay guys, the last thing I want to do, I'm actually going to turn my Cricut to portrait mode because I'm going to cut out one of these layers here, one of these uh, borders, and I think it's going to be really pretty. So I'm going to unload my mat. I want to cut it down here along the bottom. Instead of unloading my paper and putting it back in sideways, I'm just going to switch it to portrait mode. And then I'm going to load back in my paper, load back in my mat. So it's going to now cut from the left to right and down instead of sideways like it's been. I'm going to scroll all the way down to my neutral colors here. But I want to do one of these borders here. And I'm trying to decide if I want to do how fancy I want to do this. How fancy do I want to go with this border? You know what? I really like these numbers. I'm going to do these numbers. I'm going to do the numbers, which is right here. So we're going to do font layer. And then the button is right here, and it should bring up my nice numbered border. Okay. 
Okay, now the final thing I wanna cut out is one of these little shapes here because they go with some of the stamps that come with this cartridge. And if you open up the stamps, it's really cool. There's, I mean, there's like gorgeous, gorgeous acrylic stamps that come with these. But next to each one of the stamps on the uh, backing sheet, there's a little number, an inch, um, one inch, two inch, whatever. And it tells you what size you need to cut it out at the Cricut so that you can stamp inside of it. So I want to do this remember when, and it's one inch. So I'm just going to do, well, I'm going to leave it there, and I'm going to scroll down to one inch. And I'm going to use my shape here, which is this base shape. So I just turn off my creative features, press that, and press cut. Okay, and it cut it out at one inch for me to be able to stamp inside of. And I actually, I'm going to come over to the white and do another one, just in case I want to do it on white. I'm thinking the color will be okay, but I'm going to scroll over, all the way over to my white. All right. Unload, everything's cut out. <clears throat> and look how beautiful this paper cuts. Pops right out. There is like no other paper like this ever. This is the Cutmates Premium Cardstock that I printed my paper layers on because it's awesome. It's absolutely geniusly amazing patent pending uh, kind of paper here. So, cut these out. We could still use this butterfly, just like this. But are all the little details, the intricacies, they just come right undone. Here's our large border, everything right there. And look, I can use it backwards, just like that, to use the full layer. And I should have cut it on flip mode because they were actual numbers, but I didn't think of that, so it's okay. We're just using it as a border anyway. It's not a major issue. I do need some for photo matting. I'm gonna have to pull that out. All right, let's go back over to our scrap and easel here, shall we? Now the cool thing is, I can place this in here, my background paper, whatever I'm working on, and I can grab my magnets and place all of everything else that I want on a magnet so that it's not floating around my desk and I'm not losing any pieces and I know where everything is, especially if I'm doing a two-page layout. Absolutely nothing is getting lost. My border can go down where I want it to go. I can kind of magnetize that into place. And then decide where I want everything else to go. I'm gonna grab some solid cardstock for photo matting. I'm just gonna grab a sheet of this green. And I'm gonna do a four by six photo. So I do usually six and a half by four and a half. Sometimes six and a quarter by four and a quarter. It just depends. I mix it up a lot. And a lot of times I will do six inch by six inch squares and I will put them around different places in different ways. And then I can put, fill in my photos later and it doesn't matter what size my photos are. I'm gonna grab my Chestnut Rune Fluid Chalk Ink to ink my brown edges. Give them a good finished off look. This is just the Cutmates solid cardstock. This is what paper layers is printed on. There's beautiful arrangements of colors that are available in just the solids. I'm gonna decide where I want this to go, which will probably be somewhere in here. Just like this. Grab another magnet to stick them down. Awesome. I'm gonna have my butterfly come out of the corner here, I think. I think he's just gonna come right out of the side. Just put this magnet over. He can go right there. That's awesome. Put that there. This butterfly can be glued together. There's my glue. Zig squeeze and roll. I'm just gonna glue him right in the center. And then I'm actually going to grab my Singer Stitch So Quick. My quick little handheld sewing machine here. This is available at Crafty Corner right now too. I know some Walmarts aren't carrying it. Walmart.com carries it, but Crafty Corner now has it in stock, which is just awesome that they decided to start carrying this as well because it, you know Walmart can be tricky. And Crafty Corner has recently lowered a lot of their prices on things, so that's really cool too. 
All right, we're going to place this down here. I gotta figure out which way I'm going. I'm trying to decide here. All right, place this in underneath my needle, right in the center of the butterfly, and so. Okay, and once he's sewn, he's ready to go on my layout. He's just gonna go right there. And we'll glue him down. Grab another magnet. Decide where we want our stars to go. But this is how so stinking simple and easy scrapbooking layouts can be, especially when you're using paper layers because you can basically use like your base sheet and whatever sheet you're using for like photo matting and your one sheet of paper layers is going to do like all your embellishments. And you can even use um, paper layers for your photo matting as well because you know it's reversed on the other side. You know I am using it as my base here too. Another great thing the rulers on here is like so perfect for lining things up. You don't have to think about it anymore. It just lines it up for you. I love that. I so love that, that I don't have to think when I'm creating. I mean, I like to think when I create, that sounds kind of wrong, but I think you know what I mean. Okay, where's my ATG? Here it is. Uh-oh, running out. Oh, I'm like out of tape. Okay, well that's fine. Okay. So glue is just going on the one side so that I can make sure I still fit my photo in. Slide it right in behind there. Now I have to bling this up because it's still a little bit, you know, kind of plain here with what's going on. So we want to make sure we bling it up. But this is so cute. I really think I'm going to put a picture of Benson and Genevieve on here. But it's so simple. And I just, you know, simple is great. Great! because Benson and Genevieve will fit on here because of the butterflies and the stars. It's not overly screaming girl. It's not, you know, to boy, all about boy. But I love it when it says, like, remember when you made me laugh? And I just think that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. So I'm using Viva Decor Pearl Pen. I'm using it in the Ice White, which is, like, a great color to do final touches with. All right. Add a few more things to the background, which I'm going to do with a white gel pen around my photo. But this is so cool that I'm not leaning like di like directly over my layout. It's coming up towards me. You guys can now see it, which is cool. <laughs> it's great for videos. So those of you bloggers out there doing videos, you definitely want to pick one of these up. You're going to want it for your for your uh, video needs. And Marlo also has a Cricut 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 storage solution, a cartridge storage solution. Um, it's kind of like a binder and um, I have seen it and I've not really played with it, like used it for my own personal cartridges. Um, I do really like my cartridge caddies, um, but it's only because like I've, I'm really like in deep with that system and I have all my cartridges organized and it works really well for on my shelves. But I think the binder could be cool for cropping if you're like going to crops and things. But the, you know, the cartridge boxes, the caddies that I use, they have a cool strap as well. So. Anyway, I have other videos on the cartridge, my storage, my Cricut storage. If you want to um, search them on the website, you can see those, see what I'm talking about. I'm not going to go into that today. I'm going to curl the wings of these, this butterfly too. It's kind of bothering me. She's too flat. I don't like things on my page to be too flat. Adding more stitching along the bottom just to give a little more separation. I'm doing a double line and I'm doing them at variable widths, just like that. All right, there is my layout, guys. There is the scrap and easel. There is paper layers. There is the Art Philosophy Cricut cartridge and the stamps. And I hope you guys enjoyed and you guys have a fantastic Tuesday. And I'll be seeing you guys again really soon. Thursday night, to be exact, you guys will see me live at AboveRubyStudio.com, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Cannot wait to see you. Cannot wait to announce our over almost 30 winners that we will have that night alone. Talk to you guys about the new DVDs and the new website and everything else. So have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.